Then we're solving systems of equations by graphing. You're going to learn how to solve systems of equations by graphing the equations. Normally you've been solving for x. This time you're going to be drawing a line for each equation and seeing where they intersect. Because where the lines intersect it will be the solution to the system. Now the solution of a system, as I just got through said, is any order is where they intersect. And where they intersect is an ordered pair that satisfies all the equations of the system. What you've been getting is an answer that satisfies one equation. And what we're going to be doing is because when you have more than one equation, you have a system, it's going to be an answer that satisfies both of the equations in the system. So a system of equations is a set of two or more equations that have the same variables. For example, we have y equals 2x minus 1, and we have y equals x, negative x plus 5. Those are two separate equations, but they both have a y and they both have an x. So let's solve this system of equations by graphing. We've got y equals 2x minus 1. One of the things that's very important to notice here is that, that these are in slope-intercept form. Let me write that up here for you. Slope intercept form. And it gets its name by the order in which it presents the information to you. The number that's in front of the x here is called the slope. And the number that is to the right of the x is called this y intercept, hence the slope intercept form. So let me show you how to use that. The way we graph is we start out with the y intercept. In this case, it's negative 1. When we come back over here to our our graph. This is our x axis. This is our y axis. We come to the origin, and because our y intercept is negative 1, we come down one spot and we draw a point. Now, this is where the line for this equation is going to intercept the y axis. Okay? Then we come back over here to the slope, which is 2. And remember, slope is y over x or you might call it rise over run. And slope of 2 is really 2 over 1 because you've got to have uh, a, in the form of a, a ratio here. So it'll be 2 over 1. So we come back over here to our y-intercept. The number on top tells us how much we're going to rise or fall. And the number on bottom tells us how much we're going to go to the left or to the right. So the 2, which is positive, tells us to go up two spots. The 1, which is also positive, tells us to go right one spot. And then we can draw our line. Okay, so this is the line that represents this equation, y equals 2x minus 1. Now let's do the other line. The y-intercept is positive 5. So we come back over here to our, our line, our graph. Come to the origin, and we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we put our point. Remember, the y-intercept is where the line for this equation is going to intercept the y-axis. The slope is negative 1. You don't see a number there, so whenever you, there is no number, that means there's a 1 understood to be there. So this is a negative 1 over 1. That means that we're going to fall one spot because it's negative. A positive number you rise, a negative number you fall. So that means we're going to go down one. The positive one that's on bottom tells us to go right one. And we can draw our line. So now we've got our two, two lines that represent the two equations that we have over here in our system. And we've got a spot here, a point, where they intercept each other, and that's going to be our ordered pair that represents the solution to our system of equations. So what is this ordered pair? We come to the origin, and we count over 1, 2, and that's the x coordinate, and we go up 1, 2, 3 to where the point is, and that's our y coordinate. So the answer to our solution is 2, 3. Now let's check to see if we've done this correctly. We come over here and we've got y equals 2x minus 1. 
we should be able to take the X and the Y and put it in there for the X and Y over here and find out if we get a true statement. It says that Y is 3. It says that X is 2. So we put 2, and instead of X, we're going to put 2 minus 1. That gives us 3 equals 4 minus 1. And 4 minus 1 is 3, so that means we've got a true statement, and so that part is correct. But remember, it's got to satisfy both of the equations in the system. So let's take that 2 and 3, and we'll put it in the second one. We've got y equals negative x plus 5. Remember, y is 3, so we go 3 equals negative x is 2 plus 5. And 3 equals negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. So once again, we've got a true statement, which means that we've solved our system of equations with the correct ordered pair. Now let's do one that's a little bit different. We've got y equals 2x minus 4, and y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. And you notice once again, these are in slope-intercept form, which means that the slope on this one is 2, and the y-intercept is negative 4. So we take this negative 4, we come over here to our graph. This is the y-axis, the x-axis, and we come down to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we draw our point. Our slope is 2. And remember that is 2 over 1. So we come over here and we go up 2, right 1, up to right one, and we can draw our line. So this is our slope of two. So we come over here and we can draw our line. And we come here and we draw our line up through there, and we've got to put our arrows on the end so that it indicates that they go on forever in both directions. We come back to our second equation and we've got a slope, excuse me, a y-intercept of positive 1. So we come over here to the origin, we go up 1, and we put our point. Our slope is negative 1 half. So that means we're going to be going down 1 and to the right 2. So this is down 1 to the right 2, down 1 to the right 2, and we draw our line. Put our arrows on the end, and our, the answer to our problem, or the solution, our ordered pair that is the solution of our, our uh, system of equations, is right here, where the two lines intersect. And what is what, is, what are the coordinates of that line point? When you start here, you go 1, 2. So that's the x. And you notice that it does not go above the y, I mean the x-axis. So that means that the y-coordinate is 0. And once again, we come over here and we check our answer. We go y equals 2x minus 4. The y is 0. The x is 2. And sure enough, 0 equals 4 minus 4 is a true statement. So that means it satisfies that equation. And then we come over here to the second one, which is y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. We've got y is 0. x is 2 plus 1. So that gives us 0 equals negative 1 plus 1. And that's a true statement. So we've solved our system of equations with the correct ordered pair. Okay, one that's just a little, uh, a little bit different because it doesn't have a y-intercept listed here. Let's start out with the first one. The y-intercept is 2. So we come over here and we go 1, 2, and put our point. The slope, remember when there's no number there, there's a 1 there. So that means our slope is going to be 1 over 1. We come here, we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and we should be able to draw a line now. Okay. 
And then we come back to this one. Now, there's nothing here. And the thing you got to remember is, when there is nothing there, that means the y-intercept is zero. So there's actually a plus zero right there. So we come over here and we draw our line, our point, at the origin where y is zero. Then our slope is three over one. So we start here and we go up one, two, three, and to the right one. One, two, three, and to the right one. And we draw our line. And you can see that, oh, and you can see now that the intersection of our two lines is right here. So to find out our ordered pair, we count one to the right and one, two, three up. And the solution to our order, to our system of equations is one, three.